All right, good evening, everybody. We are the Game Reactionists, and tonight we are finishing our Resident Evil 1 Remake playthroughs entirely by finishing uh, Chris's campaign. Uh, anybody watching may remember that I finished off with him in the lab last night. And as always, I am Rorschach. And I am Spectre. And uh, once when we finish this, uh, then we're going to... Uh, Sign off momentarily, and then Spectre will start a game that I will not try to pronounce. I will allow him to try to do that. Say it. And Anamorph Anamorphopolis. <laughs> That's uh, Anamoyopolis. Anamoyopolis. I was close. Soyboyopolis. So it Anamorph. is. Anamorph. <laughs> <laughs> you read those books like everyone else. Don't lie to me. Uh, no, I didn't read them. I, I remember the cover art, though. It had a very iconic cover art. Oh, you're a liar. I, I really didn't read them. I was I into, like, I was into like Goosebumps and the horror books and stuff like that. Yeah, Goosebumps was cool. I really liked the Goosebumps as well. I even owned a few of the uh, VHS tapes because they did, uh, well, they had the TV show and then they would release them on VHS. So... So yeah, this section won't be too long. Um, the lab is pretty straightforward here. After this, we can, uh, you know, next on your list will be uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. <laughs> that is correct. After this, we will officially start Resident Evil 2. That is correct. That is correct. You know what, I'm oh, gonna there you this go. grab, grab me. Yeah, go ahead and grab me. So I got a grenade for you. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about you. Alright, 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 alright. We got our second MO disc. Those doors are electronically locked. There's a zombie in here. I'll just let him grab me. Oh, I'll let you grab me too. There you go. <clears throat> I had so many. You may as well use those grenades that you got, right? Well, and I and I come through these rooms uh, quite often, and I just don't want to deal with crimson heads. Be done with them. <laughs> So yeah, I'm excited to finish this up. I'll be excited to uh, start through uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a long time since I've played those games. Of course I remember the story beats for the most part. Um, but, uh, okay, the password is, is it Ada and then John? <clears throat> okay, so it's got to be John, then Ada. <laughs> there we go. Unlock that. Alright, doors are all unlocked. I see your star shirt came in there. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I am wearing my star shirt. Uh, just in time. <clears throat> to get through the rest of the games. It's pretty nice, too. I did have to go with the double XL because the XL was like polyester material and I know that shrinks really easily. Um, cotton shrinks really <clears throat> easily. I thought polyester does too though. Uh, I don't know about that. Let's no? see. Does not shrink. Oh. Well, the, the double XL shrunk and it fits perfectly fine, so. There you go. Yeah, no, I like a baggy <sighs> shirt myself, you know, nice and comfortable. So. Yeah. Well, I've got the shoulders and arms to for tight shirts. Just don't have my uh, 22 year old abdomen anymore. Maybe one day I'll get back into that again. What am I missing in here? Sure, you will. Alright, let's see. I was oh. trying to find a Resident Evil 4 shirt, but there's not one. <laughs> That's the only game I care about, so I was like... Oh, you could do, like, a, just an umbrella -like logo. I mean, it's not really even much of a thing in Resident Evil 4, but... It's still referenced. And I think at the end of it, you find out that Umbrella is still viable yeah I think I could be wrong it's been a while since I played that game all right more uh, handgun bullets <clears throat> okay oh I gotta get the key alrighty Nothing for me to do in here. <coughs> Don't you have to do something with the x-rays? I already did that. That's how you find out, like, the password. I mean, I could technically do something with them. Because you line them up, and then, uh... It's how you figure out the password is sell. Colon, esophagus, liver, lungs, cell. That's the password to unlock the doors. Which I already did. <laughs> He's wearing glasses. Cool. <clears throat> kind of made them more like lab techy looking. Yeah.
Put some of this stuff away. So it's the, la the last boss. It's the only boss in this area, right? Yeah, so you fight the tyrant. Well, you fight the tyrant twice. <clears throat> Check on the channel here. So very much in our our infancy here. Uh, oh yeah. See. Yeah, is everything coming through okay? Yeah, I'll double check. Okay. That way too. But uh, we're up to 166 views, uh, 5.9 hours of watch time. Okay. That's actually pretty surprising. Uh, we're not. Uh, oh, we are. We're we're like a little over a week old now. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. Yeah, for a, a new fledgling channel that you don't have anything. Uh... Cerberus, Neptune, Hunter, Tyrant. Oh, and there's Wesker eight four six two. View the film. No, no, Kenneth. Thanks, Ken F. That was really useful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, I don't want the first aid spray. I want the ammo disc. That's more important. You rescue uh, Jill in this too? Yep. Yep, that's what I'm working on currently. Ow! Get out of here, monster. Why is he not auto-aiming? <laughs> what were you shooting at there before? I, it wasn't even auto-aiming. <clears throat> so to answer your question, I don't know. Do they follow you back for the vents there? They can, yeah. Yeah, they're kind of... They're one of the more annoying enemies in the game. Oh, there he is.
Yeah, and in fact, I might switch out my... I gotta light that zombie in fire in that one room. Otherwise, he could be a big problem for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because there's a... Isn't, I mean, isn't, like, a good amount of the, the lab, though? Like, don't you have to, uh... Don't you just go through a lot of these areas just one time, or...? Pretty much, yeah. So you don't really have to worry about burning bodies. Well, that particular area, though, I have to go back in there because I have to mix the liquid hydrogen or nitrogen. And then... I suppose, I, I mean, if you're going to be going back in there, like, at least... You may as well. I just... I can't, um... I can't run when I have it. Otherwise, it'll blow up. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that yeah. mechanic, yeah. So... I have to, uh... Just gonna kill him just to make sure he, you know, doesn't screw me up at all. I don't know why you're bothering if the ink ribbon's got, like, 400 of the things back there. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Remind me when we switch uh, streams to update the title and everything. Yeah. I will. Use the Magnum on... Uh... Tyrant. Okay, I can do that. May, I may as well. I've got 36 bullets, so... That guy? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the room I have to go back into to uh, mix the tube. <clears throat> okay. I remember that part now. Flying through this coffee. Should I get the Lego Rippendale set, or should I put it on a Christmas list? I don't know. I always... I'm of the mindset where if it's a set I really want and don't want to risk missing out on because of it selling out, I know that never happens with Lego, but... <clears throat> I'll keep it on the list, otherwise it's like... Gotta have something on your Christmas list, right? I suppose. Oh shit, I gotta get the other ammo disc. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy.
fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Oh, you little rat. Ran away like a necromorph. <laughs> <clears throat> I forgot to grab the helmet. I wanted to do like a, like a test to see how it looked. Like, you know, see if I can actually see the screen. But I'll do that eventually here. There you go. It'd be fun to do. It's just kind of like... It's, it'll definitely add to the challenge of it because you can really, uh, it really kind of like cuts like your vision off by like 70%. Yeah. But people do blindfolded runs of games, so I guess this, is, this isn't as bad as that. I mean, what? Why? Because <laughs> people are insane and they'll do speed <clears throat> runs of anything. And when they get bored of a speed run, they'll. Add, they'll actually add challenges to the game, you know. There's actually, uh, there's a whole, like, category of, like, uh, how far you can get in Super Mario 64 by only pressing the A button once per room or something like that. What? Uh, it, it, I, I, it's, it's, like, really, like, really nuts, like, crazy. Like, people make up, like, absurd challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, another co very common one is the blindfolded run. Yeah. You can do that technically for any game. And it's uh, some people just memorize the game so well that they can just, or or they go off of the, the you know what they hear, and yeah. they can just tell you exactly where they are, what they need to do. It's crazy. I just like see for me. I just I don't know. I'm not like I, I explained before. I'm not a speedrunner. I just I I don't see the appeal of playing one game over and over and over and again to death. Well, some of those levels in Mario is impossible for you to only hit the A button once. No, uh, th there's ways around it. Is there? That people have found. Yeah, there's, there's like glitches and stuff people have found. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just really, I mean, you'd be surprised. Like, it, whenever there's a challenge or something, people find crazy ways to do it. Yeah. There's Jill. So you unlock the door for her? How does that work? Uh, I gotta power up the elevator again, and then I'll be able to get her out of there. So that's what I'm doing right now. <clears throat> Nitro compound running could result in a fatal explosion. Speedrunners must hate this part. I'm sure they found a way around it. Yeah, maybe some like walking skip or something. I'm looking it up right now. Let's see, uh, world record, wow, it's actually held for eight years, the current world record. Wow. Uh, they played it on the Japanese version on the Wii, if that mean, if that's relevant at all. Um, hour, 26 minutes. Jeez. That's with Jill. 
on very easy. Yep. I'm going to skip to the part with the... Uh... They do the lab like in under 10 minutes. <clears throat> yeah. I did the extra exploration of the rooms. You don't have to save Jill or Chris. That, that cuts off time too. Son of a gun. Oh, is there something here? Oh, there's a grenade here. Look at that. Okay, so they're making the uh, fuse thing you got or whatever. What's that? They made the, the thing you got. I'm trying to see how they're doing this part. Uh, so it looks like you can run with it in bursts. Oh, okay. It's like, like that. Yeah, they do it for like three seconds and stop. Chris! Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. Premature. Somebody did a knife only run an hour fifty two minutes. Oh, nice. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. <laughs> Thanks. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? Well, I mean, you did see the film of him in the I think you're scientist suit. Confused. So... I've always been an umbrella. And stars were umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. The tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands. You son of a bitch! Yeah! Oh yes, dear. Just like that. This. Wag of the finger, Wesker. Rebecca, no! You. I don't think you want Wesker to is based. Yet. 
I have something that's of some <laughs> interest to you. Got me. What a pathetic way to die. What a pathetic way to die. Alright, where's this freaking computer? I've already forgotten it. Oh, it's, uh, it's like back a little bit, right? Here we go. Like in the back wall. Yeah, found it. You're almost there. Done with your first game here. Yep. Chris? What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. <clears throat> right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Get away from me, Chimera! Alright, let's get our buddy Jill. Come on, do a boulder roll, Chris. Gotta get down these stairs quicker. <coughs> Jill, sorry I made you wait. I achievement unlocked. Nice. Which one did you get? For rescuing Jill. Maybe for May, when I do the Zelda runs. Maybe I'll make it interesting and only do a three heart run in an Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you can try to do that. It's not, like, entirely difficult. No, I mean, there's people that do, I mean, Zelda has been, you know, Ocarina of Time and, and uh, Majora's have been done so many different times with so many different modifiers on them and randomizers on them now, it's like, 
it's really hard to think of like how you could even make it challenging anymore like than already has been with those yeah so i mean i, I don't know i don't let it uh you know don't let it slow you down you know if you depending on how many games you want to do yeah Keep in mind, you usually play on very easy, so you might not be ready for that challenge. Uh huh. Well, Which games sense. are you even playing? These are all I've been playing right now. No, I mean for the Zelda month or whatever. Uh, I'll start with Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, and then see what happens from there. You know, maybe I'll mess around with uh, Breath of the Wild. Well, I think you have to do Breath of the Wild. I'm not going to do a new game of Breath of the Wild. Because... Uh, Gotta do some of it, though. I mean, that's like the, you know... That's like <clears throat> the most natural one you'd expect to do. Yeah. This is a direct sequel. It's not like other Zelda games where you could have, like, multiple different files... We only have the one, and I put a lot of time into uh, Breath of the Wild, so I don't want to lose that file. I guess I could save it to like a back the, it up the or something. The memory card instead of the console memory. Uh. <laughs> Not me! Nope. That was kind of a good fake on, a, on its part. Looked like it was going for Rebecca. Get away from me! Oh, jeez. Ouch. Come on! I'm I'm not gonna take a chance on him. Chris! Use it! Kill it! Whatever it is! Okay! And then he deflects it. Bang! There we go. <laughs> you the man, Chris. <laughs> well, there we go. First game done. Yep. We're still well on track for being done before the remake. Yeah. Yeah, you I'll have, push myself. To, you have uh, a longer game to deal with. I know. I'll push myself to get through it <coughs> as quick as I can. The only, like, diversion I'm doing in it, I, I might yeah. cheese, uh, like, Salazar or something. I'll use a rocket launcher. Oh, look and at that. Four hours and what's 42 that? minutes. Four hours and 42 minutes. Oh, not too bad. Not all that bad. You're pretty good. Some Metal Gear reference. All right. Great. Cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our walkthrough of Resident Evil 1 Remake with both Chris and Jill's campaigns uh, starting tomorrow we'll get right into uh, Resident Evil 2 remake and uh, we'll go through Leon and Claire's from their Resident Evil 3 remake and then Spectre will be doing original Resident Evil 4 
All of this in anticipation and hype of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Um, if the demo drops this weekend, which I suspect it to after Capcom's presser, uh, I will definitely do a hands-on impression, knee-jerk reaction, whatever you'd like to call it. Kind of go through the feel and gameplay of it. I'm looking forward to it. I think it looks great. So, yeah. Any uh, final thoughts with regards to Resident Evil 1 Remake? Uh, no, I mean, it, it's uh, it's just as good as I remembered it. Uh, fantastic <laughs> game. Amazing remake. Probably one of the best, if not the best. And I hope that Remake 4 is... is good uh you know I'm, I'm i got high hopes for it I, I really enjoy the original and if nothing else i guess i get to go for the original here soon uh, so that'll be fun to do so yeah otherwise yeah just i mean a fantastic game right on i agree well uh stay tuned we'll be back online shortly we're gonna do uh anamorphopolis and, Anamorphopolis, uh, <laughs> Anamoyopolis, uh, Anamoyopolis. Uh, a very, a very different kind of horror, which is a, it's a good contrast. I mean, it, like I so said, this is the season of horror. We've been talking about that, yeah, uh, a little bit. Uh, you know, it, it's it, so this is a very different kind of uh, very modern liminal horror. But I'll talk about that in the video. Cool. All right. Well, uh, with that said, we are the Game Reactionists. I am Rorschach, and I'm Spectre, and uh, we'll see you shortly. <laughs>